David Smith here with another Flip Classroom Math lesson. Three tips before we start. First, you can adjust the playback speed to suit your ability to consume the video. Second, you can pause the video at any point to catch up with your notes or jot down questions. Third, you can turn on the captions and read my words on the screen. Today's topic, numbers and regions. We need to go over a little bit about the Venn diagrams first and then we'll get into it. So, every Venn diagram has four different regions. And I've marked them here, stated it there, and then we're going to describe the regions there. Okay? So, let's start with the region that you're probably most familiar with. That's this one. This is the intersection of set A and set B. So, A intersection B, what is that? That's the elements in both A and B. So we can write here elements in A and B. Okay. So the elements that are in here have to be in both sets. And the way we've drawn that makes sense. The two circles overlap. That's the intersection of the circles. So all the elements that are in both show up there. Now let's take a look at this one. This is the intersection of A and the complement of B. So remember, the complement of B means all the elements that aren't in B. Now, check it out. Basically, everything that's not in the B circle is the complement of B, but this is the intersection of the complement of B and A. So it's just this crescent here are all the elements in A but not in B. So what we write here is elements in A, not in B, okay? Now see if you can come up with a description for the next one. That there, pause the video, see what you get. Okay, let's take a look at it. This one is very similar to this one, it's just the opposite. So this is the intersection of the complement of A and B. So another way to say that is this is, these are all the elements that are not in A, but in B. So elements in B, not in A. Okay, so these two are very similar. They're just sort of the opposite of each other. Now this last one might be a little bit more confusing. See if you can figure out how to write what that would be. This is the intersection of everything that's not in A and not in B. Okay, and that makes sense because this is outside of the circles. So in this universal set, whatever it is, all of this area outside the two circles aren't in A and aren't in B. So it's the intersection of not A and not B. Okay, so these are the elements in neither A or B. Okay, now let's do a couple examples. I have one here and then we'll do one more after that. So what we're about right now is finding the number of elements in each region. So this is a little different than before where we were trying to determine what the elements were. Now we're just trying to figure out how many elements there are in each region. And you'll notice that we haven't defined a universal set. We haven't defined set A and B by any of the parameters that we've been discussing before. All we're looking at is the number of elements in each of these sets. So there's, here's some new notation here. 12 under parentheses means that there's 12 in this zone. There's five elements in this zone, eight elements in that zone, and six elements outside in the universal set. Okay, so now we know the elements in each of these regions. Now we're going to answer some questions about that. So I've got six questions over there. You can pause the video at any time in this discussion and see if you can get the correct numbers. So, number of elements in set A. Here's the circle for set A. So this is going to be 12 plus 5. We've got 12 in A that aren't in B, and we've got 5 in A that are in B. So this is 17. Now, what are the number of elements in B prime? So that's all the elements that aren't in B. 
And that would be, see this five, that's in B and so is the eight, but this 12 out here and that six out there aren't in B. So that's gonna be 12 plus six, which is 18. Now let's do the number of elements in the union of A and B. And remember, the union is all of the elements in both sets. So that's going to be 12 plus 5 plus 8, which is 25. So that's the number of elements in the union of A and B, these three regions. Now this is asking, what are the num what's the number of elements in set A that aren't in B? Okay, so these are all the elements in A that aren't in B. This is the complement of B, so all the things in this problem that aren't in B. So A is here, A is the circle, 12 and 5, which we figured out here, that's 17. But five of those are in B. What this notation tells us is we want the number of elements in the intersection of A and the complement of B. So that's this here. So that would be 12. Remember, the complement of B is everything that's outside of B, but we're intersecting that everything, which is all the things outside of that circle, we're intersecting that everything with what is in A. So that's only this section there. Okay, two more. This next one is the opposite of this one. Now we want the number of elements in B intersected the complement of A. So what that means is, What's in B that's not in A? So that would be this 8 right there. And then lastly, the number of elements in the intersection of the complements of both A and B. So this is the intersection of everything that's in neither set, and that's just the outside. Okay? So it can't be in either set, so that's a 6. Okay, let's do one last example. This one's a little bit more tricky. Notice we have our Venn, universal set, set P, and set Q. But now you have regions identified by letters. You don't know what the numbers are. However, we're going to give you some givens that will help you figure out what all the numbers are that go in there. So these are the givens over here. We know that the universal set has 25. So that means that everything in this entire Venn diagram has to add up to 25. So this plus this plus this plus that equals 25. Unfortunately, that's not enough information to figure out what the numbers go for any certain unit, un, uh, region. Okay, so now we know that the number of elements is P is 10. So this whole circle is 10, but we know that that's A and B make up 10, so I can't figure out what A or B is yet. Same thing for Q. We know that this circle totals up to Q, but we still can't figure out what B or C is. However, this last one is going to be super helpful. The intersection of P and Q is 3. So we know that this zone here has to be 3. There's no other way for that to work. Now that I know this is 3, I can go back and I can notice that P is 10. So if that whole circle is 10, I've got 3 there, I've got to have 7 there. And the same thing for Q, we know Q's total is 12. If three of those 12 are here, then this has to be 9, okay? Now, I can figure out what D is, because I know that the total has to be 25. Our universal set is 25. So, I've got 7, 3, and 9 already accounted for, so I just have to subtract these from 25 to get D. So 25, Minus 7, 3, and 9 is going to be, what do you think that is? Minus 10 is 15, minus 9 is 6. Okay, so we have, now we have all of our regions. Okay, let's do two problems. Now, if you're feeling bold, pause the video right now, analyze the notation for these two problems, and see if you can get them. Okay, let's work through them. So this says, the first one is find the number of elements in the union of P and Q. So remember, union is all the elements in both sets. So this is just going to be 7 plus 3 plus 9, which is 19. Okay? How about the second one? Find the number of elements in the intersection of P and the complement of Q. So saying that out in words, it just means 
everything in P that's not in Q. So back to our Venn diagram, here's P, we've got 10 elements total, but only seven of them are not in Q. So this is seven. Now that you've watched the video, jot down a few extra notes or questions for our next class. You can also re-watch portions of the video that didn't go in so well the first time. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, and if you'd like to help me grow my YouTube channel, please click subscribe.